right, how about a round of applause for Michi? Yeah. Right. How about a round of applause for all the other comics you saw up here tonight? And, uh, judging by a round of applause, who here hates clapping? <laughs> All right. So I'm a college student. Last semester, one of my teachers assigned a 1,000 word essay. So I turned in a picture. <laughs> I think a good way to reduce the crime rate would be to stop building houses on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> That seems to be where all the criminals are growing up these days. <laughs> My parents always taught me that I couldn't have kids until after I got married. They were wrong. <laughs> About a year ago, I got a new job. And uh, when I got hired, the guy who hired me was like, you should get really comfortable around all these people because they're gonna be your new family. I was like, oh great, now I've got a new group of people to disappoint. <laughs> but then they ended up disappointing me because I was the only one who showed up for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I used to work at a Walgreens, and uh, when I did, I didn't really like to tell that to girls when we first met, because then I don't know if they like me for me, or if they're just in it for the money. <laughs> this one time a guy came in the store, he's like, hey man, can you point me to the stationary aisle? I was just like, uh, none of them are moving. <laughs> So take your pick. <laughs> that guy must have been wasted. <laughs> A friend of mine told me, you should dress for the job you want and not the job you have. But Walgreens didn't really like it when I showed up dressed as an astronaut. <laughs> They liked it even less when I showed up dressed as a CVS employee. <laughs> I'd, like to, uh, I'd like to take a minute to talk to everybody out there who's going through an identity crisis. And you know who you are. I collect faceless sock puppets. <laughs> I keep them in a drawer. Every party is a bachelor party when you're single. But not every female cop is a stripper. If you look really closely at a light switch, you'll see that in tiny letters it has the words on and off. I don't think that has ever come in handy. <laughs> you never walk into a room and you're like, hey man, are the lights on? <laughs> I don't know, let me check the switch. <laughs> I can't read it, it's too dark in here. <laughs> Somebody bring me the flashlight. <laughs> I would shoplift for a Klondike bar. I think the guy who invented darts must have really disliked bulls. So what are we aiming at? The bulls. Uh. And I think the guy who invented pool must have been a racist. 
All right, the object of the game is to take the white one and get rid of all the non-white ones. First one to get rid of the black one wins. So there's a bar in my neighborhood that I'm afraid to go to. It's really intimidating. Even the signs on the walls are threatening. Right when you walk in, there's a sign that just says, watch your step. <laughs> they say the more alcohol you consume, the more it increases your tolerance. I don't think that's true. Because I've got a friend who's an alcoholic and he still hates the gays. <laughs> I recently realized that the more alcohol I drink, the more I start to act British. <laughs> and by that I mean I start to drive on the left side of the road. <laughs> so there's a group out there called Mothers Against Drunk Driving, or MAD. I guess there used to be a group called Fathers Against Drunk Driving, but it was only popular for a little while. <laughs> All right, my name's John Markham, you guys are- <laughs>